In this video, I want to go over the delete occurrences of an element if it occurs more than n times problem on Code Wars. And the task is, given a list LST and a number n, create a new list that contains each number of LST at most n times without reordering. So they give us some examples for clarification. Um, our LST list is 1, 1, 1, 1. So 1 occurs 4 times. And n, or the maximum frequency that any given element can occur in that list, uh, is 2. So 1, as you can see, occurs 4 times. And since n is 2, we're not going to remove all the ones, but we're going to remove uh, these last two ones so that what we return, which is 1, 1, uh, the frequency of 1 is at max 2. Okay. So for example 2, we have our LST list 20, 37, 20, and 21. And our maximum frequency, or n, is 1. So all elements occur once with the exception of 20. 20 occurs twice. What we're going to do is remove one occurrence of 20, and we will be left with 20, 37, and 21. Okay. So hopefully that clears some stuff up. Uh, let's get into solving this problem. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a new list. So we're just going to say new LST is equal to uh, empty list. This is the list that uh, we're going to return at the end of this problem. Okay. Um, the next thing we need to do is we need to iterate throughout the list that it gives us, our LST list. So we're going to say for y in LST, what we're going to do is if the current count um, in our new list of the current element is less than n, we're going to append that particular element to our new list. Sounds complicated. I'm going to type it out and then I'm going to explain it to you, okay? I'm I promise I'll clear it up after that. So we're going to say if new LST dot count of Y or the current element is less than N, what we're going to do is new LST dot append Y. Okay. This doesn't make sense. I'm going to go through this real quick with you with an example. Say um, we have this list right here, 1, 1, 1, 1, and N is 2. So for y in LST, the very first L, uh, iteration of LST will be 1. And it says if new list.count y or new list.count 1 um, is less than n, well, our new list from the very get go is empty. So it's going to append 1 to our new list, for the at least for the very first iteration. Next, it's going to go to the next element in our list, which is also 1. Um, but it's the second element and it's going to say if new list dot count y well we just appended one to new list so the frequency as of now is one so it's still less than n uh, which is two so it's going to append it to our new list now our new list has two elements in it both of which are the integer one the frequency of one is now two and it says if new list it's going to go back up to this for loop and it's going to uh, go to the third element in our LST list, which is also one. And it says if new list.count y, which is one, um, the count of one in our new list now is two. Two is not less than two, so it's not going to append it uh, to our new list anymore. So that's how that works. Um, we're only going to append it if the frequency of said character is less than uh in and now it's quite simple all we have to do is return our new list so return new list and this should work let's test it to see um, yes it passed the two test problems let's try it again pass 45 failed zero so yeah that's that's um, an easy one uh, I hope that you learned something though and if you did I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed.